guys, YouTube, it's your boy Mrs. Gaming back at it again with another video. <clears throat> and, th and in this video, uh, we got another new thing added to the arsenal. Uh, I went today because I've been we're getting ready to go to the Nags Head for vacation for a week, so I'm gonna do some fishing down there. So I, because I was catching a lot of skates last year, so and stuff, so I wanted to get something bigger to help me bring in if I get hooked into something. Then. So I went today to my local store. Uh, fish store and picked up a new uh, rod it is a pin rival 30 lw i have 40 pound mono we're gonna put leader on it here soon i i haven't used it but what i've heard it's a really good uh rod it has the star drag and i've been wanting this thing for a couple years now i, I it came out in 2016 and it, you can also put this. Oops, it's a. Oops, oh, it's really weird. It is a. Um, oops, let me turn this around. It's it's a combo. It comes together. It uh is a six six. Um, it doesn't tell me, but what it looks like is a medium heavy, which is really good because I'm not really gonna do. I'm not gonna do surf fishing with it. So this is gonna be my pier and boat rod. Uh, and it holds uh. 20 to 50 pound mono, so I just went ahead and got 40. Should have put 50, but uh, and it holds 30 to 65 65 pound braid. So hold up. Uh, last year, well, this year, uh, Jeanette's pier. Uh, I've heard they caught a 51 pound bluefish and saw a big cobia. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably put eel or throw one of the big bucktail jigs on this thing. Uh, hopefully I ain't hooking something. But last year, uh, not last year, but the cause we go every year, but not last year, but the year before that, we um, what you might call it, there was these big butterfly rays, and my uh, uncle's buddy had one of them little bait casters, like not the big big bait casters, not like a little bass one, but a Shimano. And he hooked in one of them big butterfly rays. He was fighting it. We had to drink it on the beach. And we got it. We are on the beach. And then all of a sudden, pop, snapped right off. It was crazy. But from what it looks like, it, it feels like if you're it's good for, like, if you're starting to get into the big, bigger fish and stuff. It's It was a cheap. It's affordable. It's not crazy $200. I think I paid 105 for it. Something like that. And I got the line put on for it, me too. But, I mean, it, from what I look like, it's really it looks like a really good rod. And can't wait to get this line wet. Probably going to, uh, uh, I don't know what I want to catch first with it. Either a skate, whether it's skate, stingray, or what. So, maybe I have to put a picture up here in a second of all the fish I caught uh, in the axe head. It, I don't have much pictures of them or video. This is I actually just got this YouTube channel this year, so this will be the first time I record down in Nags Head. So, gonna probably people gonna have people staring at me, but that's fine. Um, I mean, I there's people everywhere. Uh, if you have seen Extreme Philly Fishing, Extreme Philly Fishing, yes, I said it right. He's been to Jeanette's Pier. Uh, wish I could see him down there because he's really good. He's really good YouTuber, like, him, One Rod, Lunkers, uh, AP Bassin, uh, John B, uh, what else, Deer Meat for Dinner, I really like Deer Meat for Dinner, I've gotten a bunch of their recipes, and tried them out, and they're really good, there's one I want to try, if you guys haven't looked, I'll have to figure out the name, and I'll put it in the description below, it's, uh, he gets a Wahoo, and cuts it into little steaks, he gets his you know he he likes that uh everglades so he puts some everglades and rubs it in mayo and then get you can use lemon zest orange zest any fruit zest or i, I don't pay attention to food <laughs> but you can put zest and you bake it in the oven for about 15 minutes and then you boil it for a couple minutes and i and it looks it, it looks good i'm trying to ch uh try that but you know i haven't caught a fish that you can get in steaks like that so except the only reason why i could is like 
it I can catch a big blue fish, a uh, cobia, mm, shark. I really want to try stingray. I I heard that's good, but uh, I've never tried that. I really like mahi mahi. There's a place down in Accent if y'all haven't been. It's called Hurricane Moe's. That place is the bomb. I'm telling you. That place is the best in Kill Devil's Hills. That is the best place to go. But we're going to be fishing on the Avalon Pier. So if you watch this YouTube channel and you see me on the Avalon Pier this week coming up, make sure to say something. I'd like to meet y'all. So, yeah, I mean, if y'all were looking to start off with a good bait caster like this for, like, pier fishing such as i'm not looking to catch a 16 foot shark i want to catch like a six foot shark nothing crazy you know i'm not looking to and if you guys haven't seen the other video of that real unboxing that i'm gonna post I haven't posted it yet but i will I'm gonna bring that down there too to put just for like because the taylor blues the gotcha plug on them or the amber jacks like we last year they had big bait balls swimming around of amberjacks. You go down there and catch, you throw your bait down there and they snag it. I mean, uh, bite it. So threw a little spoon and they you throw it out in the you threw it in the middle and you just just start reeling and they'd come up and smack it. So yeah, can't wait to see how this thing can hold against one of them nice uh, fish that they got down there. I heard they're running good. I've never caught a cobia. I'd really like to co catch a cobia. So, well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, a couple of, like, two or three fish that I caught down there. So, I guess I'll show you guys them now. See? Okay, so that skate I caught that you saw, I caught two that day. Uh, I was I had a bottom rig. I was just going and I started reeling and it felt heavy. I thought I was snagged, but then the line started moving to me. And as I was reeling, my uncle looked over and it was a skate. So he started pulling that. That was the first ever skate I caught. Then that kind of got me hyped. So I uh, you know uh, tried it again. We caught a little croaker, cut the head off of it. Hooked it on uh, my line, my hook, and toss it out. About me. it was just me and my dad just chilling on the bench at the pier together, talking about stuff, baseball, all that, and having a good time like we do. And uh, you know, I uh, all of a sudden I, we were about to go, and I said, I don't want to go. I want to go here soon. So I said we'll go about 12 o'clock because we stayed till midnight. Uh, we walk. We live right by the Av we our cottage is right by the Avalon Pier, so we we walk. So we're out there chilling and stuff, and uh, next thing I know, look at my rod. I said, uh "Oh, I go and I set the hook, and everybody looks over and sees my rod bend. So everybody's running up next to me, and I'm running up. My dad's looking at me. He's pulling the skate up, and that thing was nice. That was probably the bigger skate. I don't have a picture of him, of course. I wish I did. I was a pretty nice skate, but I'll get pictures and video this year of us going skate fishing, uh, fishing." Have my sister or somebody do it though. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment down below what you like to see and what you want me to go out and see if I can catch. Uh, you know, just subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on anything good. And uh, like this video and share it with your friends and family. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.